Now what we're looking for is the Cyclone Plastic Shovel. Right, this is just a Bunnings Hardware Store or Masters Hardware Store. That's what we want. After much experimentation, we have discovered this is the ideal shape. It is strong, lightweight, and very effective. So we're going to transfer that design over to our new bought one, and uh, we'll make some measurements and put them on camera. Now the most important thing we do is make sure that these holes here are the right size. We don't want any valuable things slipping through them. So can I just borrow one of your small rings please off your small finger? Okay. Thank you. Now that's a very very small ring. Okay, that's not going to fit through there. So that's the size we want. From okay, from the tip to where we want to stop cutting is about eight inches or twenty centimeters. All we're going to do is transfer that over to this side on both sides. And we're just using this as a flexible tool for straight lines. Okay, so we'll transfer that over. using a permanent marker both sides 8 inches or 20 centimeters doesn't have to be exact All right. let's have a look see how that went All right we've marked the center up the top here we've got the mark down the bottom just bend a piece of wire so you can do a straight line oops so you can do a straight line don't cut that line if you make a mistake you can just use a bit of metho on cotton bud to wipe it off Right, I've marked the center. All you got to do is join the lines. Use a nice flexible piece of plastic, paper, or in my case, aluminium. And there you go, cut on the line. Now, there's a couple of things that are very important. First of all, you got to allow a bit of room here. You don't want to compromise the strength of that area. So leave that section. You want plenty of holes in the back here to allow the water to drain. And you want to leave some spacing between the holes. No need to mark it. Just leave plenty of space. But you want as many holes as you can get in there because it will drain better, especially in the wet sand. And holes in the back there. Do not get too close to around here. We'll drill too many holes close to this section here because that's where it'll break if you're not careful. Now they are very strong. I haven't had one break on me yet, but if you use it to lever out rocks and you put all your weight on it, it probably will break. We'll just get somebody to hold the other end nice and secure. I'm going to be cutting it with a circular saw. So put on your glasses, your headphones, hold it secure and be careful because that stuff gets hot and melts. So you don't want hot plastic on your skin. Goggles, earphones, cord out of the way, nice and secure, hold it down hard, cords out of the way, cut.
Mm. Now all we need to do is put a bit of a curve on there, a taper along that edge so it cuts through the sand properly. Now I would recommend using a file for doing this. If you use an angle grinder, make sure you don't use a cutting wheel. And also remember that all around here will get clogged with molten plastic. So you don't want it because it'll burn your hands. Right. And also you need to you need to grind that very evenly. Hold it down securely. Grind it or file it very evenly. Otherwise you'll end up with little nicks and grooves that you don't want. Finally, put some cuts for your feet to grip on. Now when you're filing, you want nice smooth action. If you stop using a grinder, you'll get little cuts like that. You want to put some nicks along the bottom so your feet don't slip and it will cut through nicely. Okay, when you're grinding it or filing it, it's nice smooth action. Watch. Okay, when you're drilling, we're using a 16 mil drill bit. Now these are easier to drill. And make sure you've got a piece of wood underneath. You don't want to go bluntening your drill bit. And you want to leave plenty of gap between here, especially around here. This is a structural area. But you want the water to drain out around this area where you want to leave plenty of gap between the holes. So as you can see, there's plenty of gap between there and there. So all you got to do is Okay. As you can see, there's plenty of gap between, otherwise, it'll crack. Finally, all you've got to do is get rid of some of these dags. Just pick them off. Put some cuts along here. And you're finished. Right now I'm going to find it and sift it up in one action. It's right there. You see it? Wet sand, dig a little hole, put the ring in the hole, cover it up.
Right, I got it. 